Good morning, folks. We've got big news to hit today and a request for you to try to overpower an algorithm. From the sun to a meteor storm coming tonight to deep space, let's begin with our star. And right after the news yesterday, we had a pop up top. We'll zoom in so you can see it again. It was just a small plasma filament leaping for the stars but succumbing to the same fate as if we tried it, crashing down. Otherwise, there are still no sunspots or solar flares. The coronal holes abound, and in addition to the next southern opening becoming visible on the south this morning, the departing coronal hole's solar wind arrived overnight. It was a sharp impact, as you see in purple, but only moderate in intensity. Geomagnetic conditions remain firmly solid, and the magnetic perturbations are also minor, as we see here on the regional geoelectric map. Big earthquake struck Thailand yesterday. We had just warned about the region's activity on Twitter two hours earlier. Modest damage taken by numerous structures and indeed, the alert map in play for the event had a cluster of red alerts atop that event. Also had noteworthy activity in southern Africa and a tiny cluster in the U.S. We'll be watching that one for magnitude increases as those nearby are watching the skies. That's myself included. The winter storm landed a strong blow as highways are closed, semis turned over, more snow records falling, and more coming today. More coming tomorrow for Europe. The low sitting in the North Atlantic is shifting in to have its rain convergence take on Portugal and Spain tomorrow and into the weekend. Eyes open there. And speaking of eyes on the skies, there's a meteor storm coming tonight. It's expected to last only 15 to 20 minutes. We could have hundreds to a thousand meteors per hour, and we only cross this stream once every few decades. Scientists do not know the comet progenitor of the stream, and the show begins around 11.15 p.m. Eastern Time tonight, 8.15 on the West Coast. Speaking of comets and asteroids and objects in space, an interesting article in Nature details how the two interstellar objects of the last few years are twisting astronomers back and forth as they struggle to keep up with the implications of those objects. Article is linked below. Wanted to give a nod to the robot most likely to find life on another sphere. The underside of the surface ice on moons like Europa and Enceladus, where an ocean lies below, is one of the best places in the solar system to look for life outside the Earth, and this thing can crawl it. Deep space science begins with the Magic Telescope and Hubble, teaming up with Fermi and New Star to detect and then locate the highest energy gamma ray burst ever. The explosion came from 5 billion light years away, very deep in both space and time. Even though it has been 50 years since the first gamma burst was identified, much of their mechanistics remain a mystery. And this new mystery is now added because they'll have to explain the super high energy levels seen in this event. Let's come slightly closer to home here as a new radio study of the Milky Way is changing how astronomers see that slice of the heavens. This new update upgrades many of the recent radio images that have illuminated the wispy features and filaments as we look towards the galactic center and instead focuses on picking out compact objects. For example, here are all the new supernova they have discovered with the radio survey after going back and snagging a better photo in another wavelength. Hiding in the heavens just got much harder. And speaking of hard, how about trying to outpower YouTube? Folks, this critically important update from last night was throttled instantly. While the public views were going up, on the back end it showed zero views all night. That's the same data used for their algorithms and recommendations. Two of the critical points of the catastrophe cycle are bolstered, put into context, and laid out with the resources to aid in comprehension. They want this video and the longer movies suppressed and unshared. The only force that can defeat it is you. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.